Hello, welcome to this week's <coughs> Inner Circle. I'm going to begin with FX and the dollar index. A uh, series of negatives really. The uh, uptrend ended on Wednesday, then we got a signal on Thursday and another signal uh, yesterday. Um, it's still in breakout mode though while it's above 97.13, so it really needs daily close below there to uh, signal that the uptrend is actually over. As usual, uh, we've got the opposite in the euro dollar, so a min minor buy signal. It did hit three down on the range deviation on Thursday, which showed a bit of an extreme for the day. Um, but still pretty quiet. Cross to the pound. It's been downward all the way until Friday. Uh, had the resignation of the Prime Minister, which was pretty much, I think, in the market anyway. Uh, 124.44 is a key reference, and 129.52. Dollar yen. signal on Thursday um, and if we think about what the stock market done then the dollar yen was actually uh, pretty weak really but we're really uh, we're just in the middle of the range it's hard to reference anything at the moment FX it really has died a death uh, the last few weeks across to the Aussie we had some minor positives but again not at any levels of substance And the same on the Kiwi, a bit more of a positive signal there, um, but was not at support. Dollar CAD. And really, the lack of volatility and movement in FX is really summed up with Dollar Canada, which has now been uh, in an inside bar pattern uh, for three or four weeks, um, still not really doing anything. I'll have a quick look at the Euro pound. You can see that it hit that weekly level a few weeks ago at the beginning of May, uh, which was pretty close to three down, and then it's just rocketed since then. Took out the weekly level at the end of last week, held it perfectly on Tuesday, had a minor negative yesterday, um, but uh, 87.23 is that key support. So that's FX. Um, not a lot to say there. Move across to commods. I'll start with gold. Uh, 